Okay, let's go ahead and solve this numeric expression. And of course, we don't want to use our calculator. However, we do want to use that calculator in between our ears right there, that supercomputer that we all have called our brains. But uh, this is a pretty basic problem, but it's also easy to make an error, all right? So you definitely have to be careful. And I'm not going to give you too many clues because I want you to have an, uh, a full opportunity to be able to do this on your own and get the right answer. I'm going to show you the solution here in a second. So if you get the right answer, you can feel very good about yourself. Again, uh, not that difficult, but easy to make a mistake. But I'm going to cover exactly what you need to do to get the right answer here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for uh, decades. I'm telling you right now, you can be successful in mathematics, but it requires that you have access to great math instruction. Hopefully, you have an excellent math teacher. But if you need uh, more instruction than what you're getting, uh, what you need is clear, understandable, and comprehensive math instruction to be successful in mathematics. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of math, I can definitely help you out. Check out my math help program. You'll find a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it will help you out big time. Also, if you happen to be preparing for some sort of test with a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, uh, teacher certification exam, ASVAB. There's so many tests out there that a lot of you don't even realize you're going to be taking, okay? Like if you're going into uh, college, you're going to be taking placement tests, uh, entrance exams, certification exams. Anyways, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you pre um, prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, check out my homeschool program for middle and high school mathematics. If you need a pair of great math notes, I'm going to leave links to my notes uh, in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so um, put away the calculators, and uh, this will take you all of about no oh, 45 seconds to do. Put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the solution right now. And of course, no calculators. Okay, so here we go. The answer is positive 8. Okay, so we got positive 8. That's very, very good. Matter of fact, it's good enough to earn yourself a nice little happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%. Matter of fact, let me throw in a few stars so you can have an extra special day. Nice job. Okay, so if you didn't get 8, well, I'm glad that you're watching this video because we want to make sure you know how to work with basic number operations. But what's really going on here? Well, we have uh, subtraction signs going on. But when you're dealing with arithmetic, um, what you're really dealing with is uh, uh, positive and negative numbers, okay? When you see subtraction, unlike addition, okay, this is always a flag to be on uh, basically a special alert, okay? Like, oh, a lot of students will make errors when it comes to subtraction problems. For example, if I said, hey, what's 1 minus 3, okay? A lot of people are like, oh, uh, that's uh, just 2, right? Well, you'd be absolutely wrong. It's negative 2, okay? So that's a little bit of a clue if you got this problem uh, wrong. You might be saying, oh, okay, uh, I know where I made my errors, but let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this problem. Not that difficult, okay? But of course, you need to be paying attention. All right, so right here, this 1 minus 2, uh, 2 minus 3, 3 minus 4, all these right here, all these negative signs, what I'm going to tell you to do, or I'm going to suggest that you do, so you don't get yourself in trouble, is to change them into plus, uh, uh, plus negative values. So in other words, it's a good idea. Let me go back to this um, example, 1 minus 3. If, uh, if I told you what is 1 plus a negative 3, well, probably uh, most of you would be like, oh, that's negative 2. Right here, um, oftentimes students just, you know, their brains just see this as 3 minus 1, okay? So in order to avoid any errors there, what's uh, a good thing to do is just take these uh, minus signs and turn them into plus negatives, okay? Plus negative, plus negative, plus negative. Now it's very clear what we're trying to do. This is going to be 1 plus negative 2 plus a negative 3 plus a negative 4. And then down here in the denominator, we have 5 plus a negative 6. So if this is where you made your error, I'm glad that you made it because now, you know, making mistakes is part of learning math, okay? Don't feel bad about um, 
oh, you made a mistake, you know, you can't do that. No, once you make a mistake and figure out what you did wrong, and now you know what not to do, well, then you're going to improve in mathematics. So now what we have to do is just go ahead and calculate this all out. So let's go ahead and do this right now. Okay, so let's focus in on the numerator here. So we have negative 2. Uh, let's add all the negative numbers up. So this is 2, 3, and 4. Anyway, you kind of add this up. This is 5. That's 4. Okay, so we're going to get 9. And this is all negative. So that would be a negative 9. Now, if you don't know why this is negative 9, or if you're kind of a little bit, you know, rusty on that, well, then you'd absolutely need to review how to add and subtract um, uh, positive and negative numbers, and you probably need to review how to multiply and divide. Basically, all the rules for positive and negative numbers. Um, this is a, a, an area where a lot of students make mistakes. They think they know the rules, like, oh, I really know this stuff, but then they forget. Then when they come to a problem like this, they're like, oh, wait a minute, how do I do that again? Well, that's not going to be good enough, okay? So that's why we want to put away your calculator. You absolutely need to know the rules for positive and negative numbers. I'll give you some suggestions here, uh, but let's go ahead and finish um, how to improve uh, with positive and negative numbers, but let's finish out the problem. Okay, so here we have 1 plus, this is all negative 9. Okay, so that's our numerator. And then 5 plus negative 6 is negative 1. Okay, all right, so now this is going to be very easy. 1 plus negative 9 is going to be equal to negative 8. Then I have this negative 1 in the denominator. So a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So we get a positive 8. Okay, so again, um, hopefully not that difficult. But if you made a little error, that's, you know, fairly typical for students who um, have not yet completely mastered all these rules. Okay, there's a lot of students that uh, maybe you're one of them. You're like, oh, you know, I've done a few problems. Oh, it's easy. I totally understand it. I'll never forget it. You're, I'm telling you right now, you will forget it. And then you'll be facing a problem and you'll be kind of guessing. The only way to really kind of have this stuff sink in into your long-term memory is to do a lot of practice problems. But first, you need to you know, really understand these rules. So when it comes to integers or working with numbers, let me go to give you a couple suggestions. One, I have a ton of additional uh, videos on my YouTube channels or my YouTube channel that deals with um, uh, basic mathematics, uh, rules of positive and negative numbers. But uh, I'd probably kind of steer you towards two courses of mine. One, my Math Foundations course, it's a little mini course that covers like all basic mathematics, positive, negative numbers, fractions, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so that course or pre-algebra, okay, would probably be uh, excellent if you're at this level of math and you're struggling. But if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.